Wall of Sound, we're hanging out at Not First and Hail Stormer here! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're gonna get into this conversation and I've got a little bit of uh, history to talk about with Hail Storm from the past year. In the past six months, nine months, sorry, I've traveled around the world and this is my fourth time seeing Hail Storm at a festival. Wow! wow. Download Festival, Copenhagen, Grass Pop, and now Not Fest. Oh in the time God. it takes to make a baby. That's amazing. Exactly. I know. You've seen us four times. Yeah. I, I should be impregnated right now, but <laughs> pregnant with we rocks. obviously have to do it first. <laughs> it's, it's never too late. Just wait till after our set. Hey. You know? Yeah, that's when all the, f the fun yeah. happens. We'll, we'll yes. put a baby in you. Hope you're not ovulating. Now, talking about uh, <laughs> music festivals, obviously for those in Australia who have only come to festivals here, uppercut yourself, there's a big wide world out there. To play in front of 100,000 people at the likes of Down Low, Grass Pop, and then to come here, it's a bit more of a boutique kind of setting. I'm guessing the atmosphere is still the same from Day Dot. Oh, of course. Well, what I what I love about um, th this festival, and especially like just being here in Australia, is that there really is the... Uh, you can connect with the individual faces. It's yeah. not just it's not just the monster of a crowd that you're just kind of like trying to tame with just the four of us. Like everybody's just in it, you know. Yeah, and yeah. I and we we experienced mm -hmm. that a little bit yesterday um, a, as well. Whereas it doesn't matter like the crowd of people. Everyone is just engaged with their eyeballs, so yeah. I can kind of pick through everyone. And, and point yeah. them and they go, "Oh my God, Lizzie I, looked at me." Well, and that's the, and RJ's I'm sitting you, at the back and he's it, looking it at me. It is my favorite right. thing in the watching. world because I can see Involved pretty far, and so like I'll pick like. Eight Eight rows in to the guy looking at me, and, and then I'll be like, "Hey, oh yeah, no blue hair. Hi." Oh, yeah. And he's like, "Wait, wait, what? Me?" And it's like, it's the best thing. I, I and then you change his life because of that acknowledgement. Out of everyone there, you put, pick it's, pointed. It's him all out. about you, buddy. I've yeah. seen some green hairs in the crowd. Yeah, I'll be darned. It's catching on. It's yeah. starting a trend. Did you get it from? Yeah, put it in the snot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was the Just inspiration. Stop shampooing. Yeah. Yeah. Just stop shampooing. You think the, uh, I've not said that since primary like, school. <laughs> 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 That's so funny. Oh. Yeah, it's bringing me back. Yeah. Hey, RJ, does the carpet match the curtains? Oh, God. Maybe. Let's we'll find out later on in the Ugg Cut version. Now, your love affair with Australia has been uh, happening for quite a few years as well. You were only just here last year. Now you're here in a festival setting. What I love about music festivals is you get to expose your band to a much wider audience who might not have come to those side shows or the headline shows back in the day. What are you taking from this run as you leave Australia with this last date here at Knotfest and remembering when you depart and get on that plane? Um, for me, it all kind of came to a head yesterday um, because we're surrounded by all of these uh, wonderful men that ha a lot of them have ta like had taken us out as an opening band yeah. way back in the day. And so it's just such an honor to be surrounded by them. And then we're really, I mean, we, we're, we're the same band we always were. We, yeah. you know, we don't use tracks. There's no miming. We plug in, we play. It is this human element that we are very proud of. And to see all of these men, I, I mean, uh, the, the likes of Disturbed and all of the guys from Lamb of God have all come up to me and have, and have expressed this love for what we do. So it's kind yeah. of this beautiful full circle and we have such gratitude yeah. toward all of the people that have given us a shot and yeah. and, um, and that have opened their lives up to us. And, and then that bleeds into the fans. There are super fans in the front row that have been coming to see us for how many shows now? Every single festival, yeah. every yeah. single headline show we've had here. We and the so it's so it's yeah, like this. Yeah. So, it's, <laughs> like, oh, so it's, it's a family reunion, and um, and so there's this beautiful camaraderie yeah. uh, that uh, that I don't know if anybody really um, really talks about or really uh, knows about as far as it, it, if you're just a fan coming to the festival. That this is part of the reason why we come back, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And and I have to tell you, um, so we've been in. Uh, 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 but, uh, all, all both flights now have been the entire cast of Knotfest in a yeah, in a turbulent in a plane, <laughs> and we're like, right now, we're like, well, if we all go down together, Knotfest is not going on. What a but, way to go! But, but the beautiful thing about that, though, we're is that we're Peggy all too. perpetually like 15 years old, yeah. so it feels like we're going on this school trip, and we're yeah, all making fun like of that. each other and having a great time. So it's it's been beautiful. Well, obviously, with Lizzie being the ferocious femme fatale that we know and love. Is she the one that's always pulling you guys into line or is she the loose one who's got to be with the fans like you said to us last time? I think we all keep each other in line. I don't know. You know what you guys, you guys tell me. We vibrate yeah. off each other. I don't know because Lizzie can say everything. Question. Go, go, go. Every day is, um, you know, we, we try our best to get a a head shake out of Lizzie, like oh my disappointment. God. Okay. We try to disappoint her. <laughs> if we've done that, we have succeeded. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, it's happened at least three times today. Yeah. We're going for a fourth before the show. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think we can. Little, 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 little,
Now, um, when you play a festival set, obviously we've mentioned this before, like the, the wider demographic of audiences are coming in and seeing you guys on a much bigger stage, much bigger atmosphere. What's the difference between that and, like, say, for example, the Sideshow, where it was a much smaller, intimate venue, where you can have these up close and personal experiences? Do you, do you prefer the big ones like this around the world? You know, it's it's it, they're two totally different animals. Um, whereas the the headline show, the side shows, that's a kangaroo. Um, yeah, which you don't the, normally see anyway. Whereas right? these are more like yeah. a koala. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> you know, with the with the headlining shows, you're past the handshake, yeah. so we can we can bring everybody a little bit more in, play some deeper cuts, tell some stories uh, for some of the people that that obviously are coming to just see us. Now yeah. at the festival. Um, it's not lost on us that there's a lot of people, probably about 40% of the people that have not heard us yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to kind of bring your A game. And but and we're, and we're always like of, of the notion, we're like, okay, so how do we screw up the set tonight? How do we make a moment happen? And a lot of the times it's us flying by the seat of our pants yeah. in the moment on stage. So it's just such an adventure to just go out there and be like, okay, it could be a complete train wreck or it could be a magical moment that will never happen again. And you're all here to witness it. Maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> what I really want from Hell Storm is a bit of uncomfortableness because such a fucking Ooh. anthemic song that when you play that at a music festival, it's gonna go nuts. And who knows, there might be something uncomfortable you come across in the mosh pit, for example. Oh yes, uh, of course. Well, yesterday it was a lot of dinosaurs. A lot of people dressed up like yeah. dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. we're, we're, uh, we, we've, had, we've had mosh pit, um, Jesus. We've had uh, crowd surf Santa Claus. You gotta look out for those mosh pit boners. That's yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah, Very hey, uncomfortable. Guys, guys, keep it strapped. Keep it strapped in. <laughs> we don't want any accidents here at the Rock Show. And RJ, being at the back of the the stage itself, do, do you feel like you're missing out because you don't get to oh, have no, that no. experience? Uh, no, it's it's awesome. Have you seen the kid play? He's back, practically the front man. He's just playing through me. I'm just I'm just his, I'm, just his yeah, I'm just his hype man. I'm just his hype man. No, it, at a show of this magnitude, it really doesn't matter whether I'm six feet forward or back I, I can see everything and it's yeah. the energy the rush you get is unmatched by yeah. anything and I think that's what's so special about these big festivals like this yeah well it's good to actually have you back in Australia uh, countless albums that you've released so far uh, and we've been able to catch up with you on plenty of them so far what's the future holding I mean I don't want to talk about new music because you're obviously sitting on the album that you've just put out so what's the future holding Let's say later on this year for Harry Potter. No, we, we can talk about new music. Um, new we're music. actually <laughs> almost finished writing a record. Bullshit. Mm -hmm, not bullshit. A it's band happening. that just doesn't fucking stop. It's happening. Yeah. Uh, that no. Lizzie Hale, she's full of shit. Yeah. That was <laughs> full of shit. No, no, no. no it's, I mean, I mean, you we and John Denver. We are, we talk about this a lot. We are, we are lifers. Um, every decision we make is life or death. For this band, there is a love and a trust that we have with the four of us. We write every Liquid single death. day. We are always working on new music, and uh, and we're about to go in and finish our, our next record, and then we'll we'll be back here before you know it. Oh, we'll be yeah. back. It's just never stopping. Well, if you can move down here, I mean, rental prices are a bit I'm shit so at the moment. Close. No, I'm so you close. Are, you are, really. Yeah. I mean, Don't like, tempt this me. This whole experience <laughs> has been so magical for me um, that I, I literally have teased that on stage uh, at, at our last side show. I'm just like, you may just find me here sooner than later. Perfect. You know? Well, let's find, let's find you a house in Logan and then we'll set you up there. And then get me set. I, I was going right. to say, you have a spare bed, right? I do, I do. You're a realtor? <laughs> I don't we'll, we'll, take up much space. Just a little air <laughs> mattress. We'll, we'll ask my boyfriend just to get out of the bed oh, for the night and then, yeah, I'll get you. On, oh, that's let's very go. nice. <laughs> very kind. So nice All right, before we wrap it up, hailstorms one word. Please wrap up your experience in Australia one word each because I know you're sitting up the, up, the other end there and you haven't said much. Got you a got Pressure's on you. It's going to be perfect. Heaps. <laughs> Josh? Crikey. <laughs> you gonna say when it comes to the food? Delicious. No, oh, that was lame. What? Boo. Have you eaten the food out here? It's delicious. I know. And it nutritious. Is. I know. Tastes like chicken. Um, <laughs> um, this is one word uh, to us. Um, Siggy butt brain. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. See, the culture here oh, is man. so different. I got, I got a new one. I got a new one. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yolo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so in terms of Australian colloquialisms and all that kind of word there, can we just get, before we wrap it up, have fun, shit cunts. See you next time. Have fun, shit have cunts. Have fun, shit cunts. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, Aussie. We fucking love them. Thank you for stopping by Wall of Sound. Thank you for coming back. We'll see you soon. Mwah.